Hey guys, it's been a while since I've made a video. I've been doing this little semi-restoration on one of my buddy's Firebirds, the 76 Firebird. I'll post some pictures on the corner or something. But um, this is a corner of my shop that I don't normally show in videos. It's pretty junky. I've got this shelf I built and it's got a bunch of un unfinished projects and boxes and stuff over here. But on this shelf is a surround sound stereo system. It came with the shop. I wouldn't have put something like this in the shop, but it's already wired up. It's got speakers on all four corners, and um, so great sound in stereo. But the problem is, is I can barely pick up any radio stations. I kind of started off just having a wire hanging off that was plugged into the the coaxial cable um, jack, and it just doesn't really work. I can pick up a couple stations, and a lot of times the stations will work for a while, and then they'll kind of fade out, or I walk around certain places in the building and I lose signal. So I decided it was time to build a nice antenna. So this is going to be a video showing the antenna that I built. I used my 3D printer, a clothes hanger. I could have probably just stuck the, a wire out the, the metal building just to get it outside of the building and probably would have worked fine. But I put a little extra effort in. I actually used a impedance matching transformer to somewhat match it even though I didn't do much testing with it. So it ended up working really well. So here's the build video. So here are the parts I've printed for the antenna. So this is the part that will mount on top of the roof. This will mount below it. You can see there's an arrow pointing towards the top of the roof. The thing's slanted with the, the rake of the roof. And then this will be the cap that goes over all of it. This is made of ABS. These other parts are made of PLA. So hopefully the ABS will hold up to the weather. This part actually goes inside of here. And this is what the antenna will mount on, and it'll also hold my impedance transformer and the connector. There's my impedance transformer I made. And this is a clothes hanger that I'm going to use for the actual antenna. The first step is to glue these bolts into the top bracket. And the reason I need to glue them in is because after we get the antenna assembled, I'm going to put a cover on it and I'm going to glue it together to make it watertight. So the next step is to assemble this actual antenna bracket and this thing holds the impedance matching transformer as well as the connector and the antenna itself. So the antenna will mount up here. We've got this piece that I can use to, to clamp it with some pull ties. I'll also probably put some hot glue in there. This is, I'll, once I assemble this one time I'm never going to take it back apart. It's going to be sealed. and the impedance matching transformer is just going to pull tight over to the side here and it is a 1 to 1.4 turns ratio which will cut my 75 ohm coaxial cable impedance in half which should be in the ballpark of what we need I can't get the crimpers in here to actually crimp the impedance transformer onto the antenna and I have to crimp it because I can't solder to the steel so what I'm going to do is slide it out the bottom of the bracket like that and just get the wire and feed it through crimp it here under the bracket alright so now I'm going to hot glue the antenna mast in place over it and then I'll pull tight it All right. now we just need to wire the other two wires from the impedance transformer to this connector to make the ground connection, I'm going to use this terminal. So I'll crimp it on here. And then it'll slide around the 
connector like that and then the nut will hold it down. So now that the antenna bracket's put together, I need to mount it to the top plate like that. And to do that I'm going to use CA glue. Slants towards the top of the roof. You can see the arrow in there. Just like that. Alright, so now that's done. Just needs the cover. So I'm going to seal the cover with some. I would use some clear silicone, but I've got this Dynaflex 230 window and door trim sealant. It's made for sealing against PVC, so maybe that'll be good. Um, it is white though, so I'm gonna try to do a good. I'm gonna try to keep from getting it all over everything. So I've marked on the antenna where the top of this comes to, so I can go ahead and put some in here, and then I'll put a bead around the bottom here. So hopefully, uh, can do that without making too big of a mess. I'm going to use the bottom mounting plate to mark the holes where I need to drill. Now I'm going to use a step drill to drill the holes. Now I just need to bolt it to the bottom plate. So here's the antenna with a coaxial cable connected to it. And it runs down the edge of the shop and over to the radio. So let's power the radio up and see if we can pick up any stations. Now, I obviously can't just flip through and play a bunch of songs because I'll get in trouble with YouTube, but I'll pick my three favorite radio stations um, that I could not pick up before and uh, just turn it up for a second and see if we get something. So this is the first one. That looks like that's coming in good. So we'll go to another one. That one sounds good too. And one more. Yes, yeah, so that one's a commercial. So yeah, that's a uh, that's working really well. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I should have this Firebird project wrapped up pretty soon. Hopefully, I'll be making some more videos. So thanks for watching.